is silly who said they, they, they should have the right to kill that baby and then live with the regrets of not having the chance to put up with their baby. You see what I'm saying? Wait. You know what she said? She said, F them kids. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Urcha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honors also to you, brethren, you followers of the truth, you believers in the faith, even you few sisters, and shalom to the elect. <clears throat> okay, anyway, um, I ran across this video with the. Um, uh, ISUPK I can't begin to tell you what it's called it's something dealing with they I believe they posted up an apparent planhood a Roe versus Wade you know if you go find in controversy you'll <laughs> you'll find it and this group tends to find controversy but I'm not going to so much talk about this group I'm going to talk about um, this situation with this Roe versus Wade and how the script scripturally you know is the curses uh but first let me get um um i believe it's proverbs you know a scripture i want to get just even dealing with a, a situation like this why we wouldn't go back and forth with these kind of people it says here in proverbs 29 and 9 if a wise man contendeth with a foolish man whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. Now, these people can't say that they didn't hear the truth, right? Now, we don't believe in going into... Now, if it happens to be a parent plant hood across the street and wherever we push the spirit guides us, then that's where we go. But we don't 
solely go into certain controversial aspects of communities to, you know, do these things. Now, where we at is controversial anyway, especially where we go. So it's like, uh, you know, enough is enough. But the dealing with this type of behavior, this type of atmosphere, you know, I don't know. Again, they can't say that they didn't hear of the truth. You know, they, you know, regardless what camp post up in those locations, the most high is making sure that word gets out there. Okay. Now, Eve, I'm going to try to keep this clean as possible. Eve believes after the Idumeans, the other people, that's who they follow. I mean, I noticed when we have them come up to the camp, you know, the Idumeans, whenever they come up and they're in controversy with us, the Eves always stop and go to defend. They will never stop just to defend the Bible or defend what they believe. They will only stop to defend them. And this is why I did this video because you look at the picture. Uh, the ones on the left. The other one might be Hispanic or uh, uh, Eve, you know. But the ones with the wild colored hair and all that, they were more likely there first. And then the Eve comes up to show off. Hey, man, what we went through is uh, systemic destruction, a systematic destruction. And that going back to that Willie Lynch, we can clearly see the example. Anyway, they claim that they, um, it's their body, their choice. When the scripture says, let's go to Amos, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, which we see, and the Lord have not done it? And also Proverbs 20, I believe 24, man's goings of the Lord. Jeremiah 10 and 23, it's various other scriptures that, um, that is not in man to direct his steps. You know, the Most High does that. So whenever you claim that it's your body, it's your choice, it's the Most High's body, and it's His choice. But you you are supposed, as the um, as a woman, supposed to be under. Let me try to keep it clean as possible. Under, because we got to tell it raw. You're supposed to be under the man. So you're supposed to follow in his league but they'll call it toxic masculinity for whatever but if the man is following the woman and pushing the strollers and got the little baby thing around them with the little baby legs hanging out and they walking down the street and eh, nobody says that's toxic femininity you know that's just what it is anyway a lot i can't say in the video i'm just going through it jeremiah 2 and 21 Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, woolly, a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? So, let's look up that word de degenerate. It has a lot to it. This word de degenerate. Okay, it says, having declined or becoming less specialized as nature, character, structure or function from an ancestral former state having sunk to a condition below that which is of normal having sunk to a lower and usually corrupt vicious state we'll get a scripture on that too in the book of Job um, it also says degraded being simpler uh, as by having a factor constant, you know, equal to zero. Um, and so much more. And there's a lot of commercial, a uh, um, lot of, a lot of answers on ha having two or more states or subdivision, especially of the same energy or frequency. Wow. But this is what it is. To pass from higher to lower type of condition. To sink into a low intellectual or moral state. 
to decline in quality. Uh, it's more in here. So we can see, we can get the point. We can get the point. And I have no idea how Jake deals with that. So in other words, the most high said he's going to punish our ass, and this is what it is. Your seed is a man, goes into Eve, and it becomes hers. Not yours, not your lineage. What they're saying is, has nothing to do with your lineage, have nothing to do with you at all. It has everything to do with them. Her body, her choice, right? But yet, somehow, she become pregnant. I don't know. That's what it is. And you can't really talk much about this stuff. Anyway, let's go to Job 39. Job 30, I believe it's 39. This is not so much about IHBK as it is, you know, they it just draws up controversy. And, you know, we see videos like this. And hey, they did a good job dealing with it, though, you know. No doubt about that. You know, they are Israelites. They are out teaching, you know. Job 39. And we like to read one particular verse, but I want to read a little more. Okay. And um, go just to go a little bit more. Um, it says here, um, Wilt thou believe him? that will bring home thy seed and gather into the, thy barn. Gavest thou the goodly things unto the peacocks, right? Um, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her, leaveth her eggs in the earth and, warm, and warmeth them in dust, right? So it's saying here that an ostrich will bury the egg you know, so-called to protect the egg, but watch what happens. And forgotten that the foot may crush them or that a wild beast may break them. So the Most High even created an animal, <laughs> just to show you an example, right? She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. And that's the key. There's absolutely no fear. And again, I keep I can't stress this. They'll say their body, their choice, but who's given them that choice? Those elites. You know, Ephesians six and ten. We wrestle not in darkness, right? right? I mean with flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. So you really don't have a choice. You're given the choice. You could say that so-called which the Lord controls all that but in a carnal sense the choice is made for you to have a choice if you understand what I'm saying right the only reason why you have a choice because you're given that choice and the brother did go into Margaret Sanger eugenics you can look that up I'm not going to go much into it but that goes back funneled through Christianity she indoctrinated preachers black preachers to push eugenics you can look that up too because she felt that we were procreating a bit much, right? So I never understood the, the terminology of the parent planhood. If you're not going to keep it, how the hell are you going to be a parent? But anyway, um, it says she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear because God, Yahweh have deprived her of wisdom neither have he imparted to her understanding right okay what time she's lifted up herself on high she scorneth the horse and the rider right so at the end of the day she's against the Lord she's against the, the men that the Lord set up she's against the truth this is Eve Eve is against it all Eve don't want to stand and, you know, do the right thing. And I'm saying the majority, not the ones that's trying to do right. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on this topic and give my 
you know, commentary or the biblical, you know, do the um, do my biblical knowledge, you know, precepts or whatever. And now uh, there's much more that you could say on this stuff. Um, and it's the curses, Deuteronomy 28. You know, the eyes shall be evil towards the son and towards the daughter, right? This also proves that the Heavenly Father is not to be played around with. When he said he's going to do something, he really showed us how it's done. And this is why we, Ezekiel in the ninth chapter said we sigh and cry in the mist. Because the real men who wants to seek to get out of here and some of the sisters and families, we we endure. We got to endure with long suffering. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.